Hi. This is another video. I'm sorry, I've been taking for a while because, yeah, I've been not very well and my voice is weak right now. And then the show must go on and let's get started with this one. Uh, this is a graphing function, pretty straightforward, five marks only. And actually, typical five, three marks for the drawing. So let's get started with those. First of all, it's a composite function, a... I need to move slowly. So first of all, this is a composite function. So which means that our 10 put into F. So usually what I go into do with my student is that I write it down first. And then I will write down the original function fx is 2x minus x cubed. Then we put the 10 inside. So we will have removing the x and put 10 inside. And then we move in the x, and I'll put 10 inside with a bracket. We are happy with this, but then if we want to make it look like more professional, then it looks more professional. But when we clean the calculator, we put that in anyway. So here we go. The second bit is we need to sketch the following with those. When we sketch on trig, you see we have 10, right? So when we sketch on trig, we see we check on the domain. This the number is quite small. That means that this is radian here. So first of all, get to our calculator. So we do some graphing. But then I want radian. The calculator is degree. So we change that. Switch out, switch down, and you find it radian there. All right, and then we just key in our equation. We have two sine x minus 10 x cubed. All right, this is a weird one because this is our normal V window there. But then we got a graph here, so we could actually copy whatever we have there. So here we go, we copy that. So we have to go to V window, change it to domain from negative one to one. And then the range is negative 2 to 2. Now our graph should look perfect. Back to the question. Write down and label the coordinate of the maximum and minimum. So we need to find the maximum and minimum from there. What we do is like G soft, maximum first. So this is our maximum point and this is the coordinate. So we keep find that around here, six, seven, a bit more than one, I will put it here. G soft minimum. Here's our minimum point and it looks like there. So zoom. Auto zoom. Please. Yes. So we will have our negative five and six. Negative Point six eight is close to seven and nine. Just in case I find a root, you'll help me to draw the graph. You go left and right, you can find whatever you need to find. Oh, it said label the coordinate. I didn't label the coordinate, so we need to get back there. Negative zero point six eight five, negative one point oh nine. Maximum. Even you mark the point without the label, you still lost the point. So it's not worth it. So make sure you read the question carefully. Now we can sketch the graph. Right. So that's how we do it. Pretty straightforward. Until next video, we will have next question coming up. See ya.